Okay, so new definition. Let the collection of sets x sub j be an indexed family. of sets and let x be the union of these sets, the product set of this indexed family is the set which we denote this way and this is the set of all functions x mapping the indexing set j into the set x where the jth coordinate is in the set x of j for every index j so notice that these functions are restricted so that the value of the function at the index j is an element in the set x of j for every index j that is the product set is the set of all j tuples such that the jth coordinate of the j-tuple is an element in the set x sub j. So let's look at an example. Let the indexing set j be the finite subset of the positive integers consisting of the positive integers 1, 2, and 3 and let the family of sets indexed by the set J be the integers, rationals, and reals then the product set is the set of all j-tuples such that the j coordinate is in the set x of j and in this case this is the set of all ordered triples x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 such that x sub 1 is an integer x sub 2 is a rational number and x sub 3 is a real number and this is the product of the integers with the rationals with the reals. So new definition the jth projection map is the function which we denote pi sub j from the arbitrary product set into the set x sub j defined by pi sub j of the j tuple x is the jth coordinate of the j tuple. So new definition. Let the collection of sets x sub j together with a topology tau sub j be an indexed family of topological spaces.
the product topology. On the arbitrary product set is the initial topology. On the arbitrary product set generated by the given collection of topological spaces and the corresponding projection maps So notice that this definition is essentially the same as the definition for the product topology on a finite product set. The only difference is that we have abstracted the definition to cover the case of any arbitrary product set. So notice that just as in the finite case, with the product topology on the arbitrary product set each projection map is continuous surjective and open. Now a sub basis for the product topology. on the arbitrary product set is the collection script S which is the union of the inverse images under the jth projection map of the topology tau sub j and this is the set of all inverse images of the sets u sub j under the jth projection map where u sub j is in the topology tau sub j and j is an index in the indexing set j and where the inverse image of the set u sub j under the jth projection map is a subset of the arbitrary product space such that for every J tuple in the inverse image of the set U sub J under the Jth projection map the Jth coordinate of the j-tuple is restricted to values in the subset u sub j of the factor space x sub j. And so the inverse image of the set u sub j under the jth projection map is the intersection of the inverse image of the set u sub j under the jth projection map with the entire product space 
Okay, so new theorem, a basis for the product topology. on an arbitrary product set is the collection script B of all sets of the form the product of sets U sub J where U sub j is in the topology tau sub j for every index j, and U sub j is equal to the entire factor space x sub j for all but a finite number of indices J and the indexing set J. So proof. A sub basis for the product topology on an arbitrary product set. is the collection script S of all inverse images of the sets U sub J under the Jth projection map such that U sub J is in the topology tau sub J and J is an index in the indexing set J. So let script B be the collection of all sets of the form the intersection of the inverse images of the sets U sub i under the ith projection map such that U sub i is in the topology tau sub i for every index i and i is in the indexing set i, where the indexing set i is any finite subset of the indexing set j. And since every open set in the product topology on the arbitrary product set is a union of finite intersections of elements in the collection script S we have that every open set in the product topology on the arbitrary product is a union of some elements in the collection script B and hence the collection script B is a basis for the product topology
on the arbitrary product. Now the intersection, the finite intersection, of inverse images of the sets u sub i under the ith projection map is the set of all j tuples x sub alpha for alpha in the indexing set j in the arbitrary product space such that the alpha-ith coordinate is an element in the set u sub alpha for alpha and index in the finite set i and the alpha-ith coordinate is in the entire set x sub alpha for the indices alpha not in the finite set i that is the finite intersection of the inverse images under the ith projection maps of the sets u sub i is the product of the sets u sub j where u sub j is in the topology tau sub j for every index j and u sub j is in fact equal to x sub j for all but a finite number of indices J in the indexing set J. So as an exercise, let the collection of spaces X sub J together with the topology tau sub J be an indexed family. of topological spaces where the collection script B sub J is a basis for the topology tau sub J prove that the collection of all sets of the form, the product of sets B sub J, where B sub J is an element in the basis script B sub J for finitely many indices J in the indexing set J and B sub J is the entire factor space X sub J for all remaining indices J in the indexing set J is a basis for the product topology on the arbitrary product set of these spaces.